guys today I'm what I try I haven't seen too many YouTube videos on it today I'm gonna show you how to draw in uh, 3d um, common shapes which you can uh, put together with your others parts of like your drawing and such so I'm gonna show you how to do that so first we're gonna start off with like the simplest shape which is like a square so what you want to do you can even use a ruler, but I don't really need a ruler. You can start off by drawing whatever type and size square you need. And let's say we want our person is seeing this square from this perspective. So their line of sight is that way. So they're actually let's raise this their line of sight is maybe like up here so what you want to do to make it 3d is for you kind of want to draw an imaginary square kind of behind it the exact same shape but you want to take it and then you want to move it back this is just to help you grab grasp the next concept and then what you can do is you can connect these lines and then go ahead and erase this right here now let's say and then you can embrace these lines now let's say the light was coming from yeah right around where I said here so the light would be this the Sun would be shining on our object so what you want to do to embrace I got different type of pencils here to embrace the color and to make the, the object pop out more you want to shade in a lot of the object I'm just gonna halfway do this because I want to get on to other shapes and then you can kind of And then you can make like these lines disappear and other stuff and make it really light on top. And as you can see, that's kind of popping out of the page more. All right, and then next I wanna go to, let's say a circle. Let's, no circles, or maybe let's do a triangle. Let's say you have a triangle gonna draw your simple triangle or oh, wrong pencil up oh, I guess I'll just continue using this one just your normal triangle what you want to do is from that you want to take that triangle and you want to flip it that way so you want to whoosh but since you're viewing it from let's say this angle from that angle you cannot see as much of this here this will be smaller so that would come down right there now in reality if this was a real like the pyramids in Egypt this is the same size as this just because you're viewing it from this point this looks smaller than this so let's say the Sun was coming from right here onto this object it would come like this down maybe and you can kind of improve your shading. I'm just halfway doing it. And then maybe just a little bit down here. And then there you go with that. And then let's say a circle. A circle, all you have to do, I'm not good at drawing circles freehandedly, but I'm going to try it. Let's say what, here's your circle. Just try to improve this circle to my best ability. Now here's your circle. Now let's say let's say um all you have to do to do the circle because the circle's round. It doesn't have any geometric shapes to change and flip and do that. 
So the best way to make a circle pop out the most you can is just by shading. So let's say the sun's up in this corner or the light source shining on our object again from here. We do kind of like the moon type of shape. Let me just check my phone. And just shade in that area. And from this to here, from the sun, you want to go really light. And then the more you get towards the back, the opposite end from the light source, you want to get darker. So the more, and then you kind of want to get lighter and lighter and dark really in the back. So the more, the more shading and effort you put towards your shading, the more the object is going to push out. And then you can kind of, you know, do all that with that object. So this aren't to the my best abilities. I want to keep you here waiting. And um, what's another shape? We could do a cone or a cylinder. I say we do a cylinder. So with the cylinder, what you want to do is you want to draw two lines. Pretty much identical to each other. Same, same length same height, same parallel. I want to keep them as parallel as possible. And then you're going to try to make a curved edge connecting the two. And then the same thing on the bottom. And then what you want to do is you want to take that and then you want to flip that around, that curved edge, connecting it on that side too. So as you can see, that object is 3D and popping out at you. And you can kind of shade on here just a little bit. Let's say if the sun was over here, or maybe be more realistically like here, shining down on this object, then you can shade again in this same motion with that kind of like angular thing across the object. And oh, and plus you can go with your finger if you have the right pencils. And you can go along and get oh, I have an eraser here. And you can you see how this is lining here? You can go along and you can rub it in with your finger to try to get to make that object more real and less liney. So what's another shape? Um what did I say it was? Like the a cone? You wanna do the same thing as here, but kind of more whoosh, so you want to take those two lines that we had up here and we want to make them more parallel, uh, like a triangle. So you take those two lines and you go like this. Then that same little circle connecting the two lines you bring down here. Now the cone, since there's no top like this, trying to that pops out the object the most. Um, what you want to, you have to do is you have to really bring out your shading. Let's say the sun's from over here pointing on this object too. So we'd go like this, kind of do that same motion that wraps around the object, and darker here on this side, away from the sun, to lighter over here. I'll kind of, you know, you guys can. Do that shading to your own object. And um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how much this technique can really improve your drawing. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to try to incorporate all these shapes into one object. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do like, <laughs> let me see, like a lamp post. No, not a lamp post. Like maybe like a gate thing. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to incorporate all the shapes into one. So keep in mind this is freehand. So, so, but with this type of pencil, you can, the harder you press down, the darker it gets. And so that's what you want to do with your shading over here too. You want to press down really hard here. And then maybe if you're good enough, 
you can go you can start lightly pressing so you go hard to light with those type of shapes and with all shapes all right so I'm gonna make like kind of like a gate fence post thing to try to incorporate all the shapes So I'm going to draw a rectangle, which was our square, as the first object. And then I'm going to draw a triangle reaching up here. And then I had a cylinder here. And then a circle up on the top. And then as you can see we could you know continue the fence out that way and then we could do like a little mini shape like that have another fence over here so this is just an example like you don't have to make a fence I'm just incorporating all the shapes into one so this is kind of like a half cylinder so what you can do is you can experiment with the shapes and you can cut the shapes in half so once you know the basic shapes you can't really go wrong with them so then we could make another fence post over here and we could come down here and just make little tiny rebars I think they're called come down from the upper layer I should have not used this pencil for this job but oh well so then you can kind of like lightly you know I could make another one off this to in this direction there's our half cylinder over there and then you know but you get the point so you can incorporate all your shapes so let's say the sun was beating down from over here onto our objects um, we would have kind of that same motion that I was telling you about here that angle across the shape like a moon dark in the back gets lighter as it goes to the front the shapes a little bit off always helps to have your shapes accurate but you can get tools to make it accurate or just the more you practice the more accurate the shapes get so we can go like that with that this side would be more lighter or actually now this side would be the darkest because it's the opposite side and then that side right there so then we want to have that same angular motion with that shape maybe even make this back darker back here shade that in and as you can see it's coming together and we could do that to every single object in here so if you get what I mean and then we could create a whole fence across here maybe like a house in the background and different and just incorporate different shapes and then more rebars along the thing and just incorporate different shapes into our drawing now this is more for landscape as you can tell drawing like landscapes and scenery as drawing people and other things is just a combination of multiple forms of different shapes